It was one of the most witnessed events in world history. Hundreds of thousands of people saw the attacks of 9-11 here in Manhattan, saw it with their own eyes, and millions more watched on television in horror around the world. By a quirk of fate, I was one of the first reporters on the scene that morning. You never think you're living history. But on September 11th, we all witnessed one of the crystalline moments of world history, a moment so pivotal, it was as if the earth stopped and then everything set off on a different spin. It has all changed for us, for America, for the world. The rules of how we live, of whom we trust, of how we view our own security, of how we conduct war, of how we define peace, of what we hold most important. On the morning of September 11th, I was living on the third floor of that building, just a few blocks north of the World Trade Center. I was working for ABC News at the time, and I just reached for my second cup of coffee when I heard the sound. It was like a giant ripping of fabric, a shriek and a deep roar all at once, followed by a huge explosion. It was a sound I'd heard before, but only in countries at war, never in the U.S. and certainly not in lower Manhattan. I said out loud, I think that was a missile. Almost immediately, the morning news began reporting that a small plane had hit the World Trade Center. I knew it wasn't a small plane, even if I didn't yet know what it was. I located a phone and made my way out onto the fire escape and dialed the network. And that's where I was reporting live on national TV when the second plane hit. And we knew everything had changed. More and more fire and smoke enveloping the very top of the building. And as fire crews are descending on this area, it, it it does not appear that there's any kind of a, an effort up there yet. Now remember, oh my God. Over the next two weeks, I didn't leave the area, afraid the police wouldn't let me back in. What I remember most are the faces and the voices of the rescuers who refused to give up, who worked themselves to exhaustion, and the faces and voices of the people searching for their loved ones. Their eyes said, tell me you saw this person walking around, or in a hospital, or being interviewed, or sitting dazed by the street. Please tell me you saw them alive. The fact that I could never once answer yes is why I can never forget the question.